All right, all right. Everybody's been asking me. So I'm going to do this real concise, real quick. I'm going to tell you my situation and how I got into it. I used to be the number one artist at Venice Beach. It wasn't until 2016 in which I saw somebody get killed. I saw them get stabbed right in front of me on Venice Beach. Ah, that's when I knew I had to leave. Gentrification was coming and I had to leave. Fortunately or unfortunately, I had just won a lawsuit against the city for discriminating against me. They violated my civil rights. But the jury were people from the neighborhood who were racist. So my award for winning this lawsuit for discrimination was one penny. That's what they gave me. They gave me one penny. Shortly after that, the local residents who didn't like me because I was the most conscious, metaphysical, pan-African, cultural brother, and I was making the most money off selling my street art on Venice Beach, I was a threat to everything they were about. So what did they do? They paid some local gang members to threaten my life and run me off of Venice Beach. So I left. As soon as I left, about a week later, I come to realize that my landlord for over 15 years was selling our house. It wasn't really her. It was her son, her younger siblings, her son and her daughter were selling the house. So they sold the, and, 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 and they were an escrow. It was almost done. So a week later, she was moved down south and they told me I had a week to get out of my place, which was in LA. I didn't know where to go. I went to the landlord, housing people, whoever, and they um, got me 5000 They got these people to give me $5,000. They got the landlord to have to give me $5,000 moving expenses. $5,000 at that time was a lot, but it wasn't enough to move all of my stuff out of my house and to Atlanta where I wanted to move. So what did I do? I ended up having to live in my van because that was right when gentrification was really starting and I couldn't get another place. And um, I had just lost Venice Beach. So what did I do? I started living in my van, put all my stuff in storage, drove to the Bay Area. Came to the Bay, started selling my art on Telegraph was doing good, was making money, but still couldn't afford to get a place here, so I was still living in my van. Ended up getting a storage unit here. And turning my storage unit into the place where my art was held and I could paint it. I turned the inside of it. It was extra space storage, which is one of the few storage units that actually have electricity in them if you get a big enough one. Some people in my complex in Alameda, they're literally living in their storage units. They go and work a night, a shift or whatever, or a day shift, and then, you know, when the storage place is closed, they go there, they can turn on full electricity, they have their computers, everything set up, they do their thing. That's them. I use it. I have my computers and everything in there, but I use it to paint. I turned it totally into a studio on the inside. I put fans everywhere to make sure there's no spray paint or anything in there, but that's why I create all of my art and have been for years. At the same time, been searching and searching and searching for a base, a place to live. Where are we now? 
I wake up and I've been homeless for what? 10, 12, almost 15 years now. Homeless. But all the time trying, trying to find me a place, trying to get me a house in Atlanta, trying to do something, trying to save the money I can. But everything is so expensive between replacing my engine twice, between little fires I have to put out every week, behind, um, still keeping all my bills paid. My credit was great for me, especially during the pandemic. I had great credit, had money coming in, put my money in Bitcoin and everything and still couldn't get me a place, still couldn't find a place. Spent a lot of money on taking classes from Earn Your Leisure and all these financial gurus. I was taking every class I could, trying to do everything I could, and still couldn't get out this situation. But still maintaining. Not letting people really know I'm homeless because I take showers at Planet Fitness. I always look good, and whenever I'm in public selling my art, I'm always giving good energy. But, now, now we're at the point where somebody at Extra Space Storage really, really, really doesn't like the fact that I'm a positive person and I'm making money and they've been, some of, some, some of my neighbors or somebody who has a storage unit has been spying on me and watching me and seeing how I operate now, I get down, and they didn't like it, so they started complaining, I've been in extra space storage for about two years, doing my thing, but somebody started complaining, and in the last month or two months, 25, 30 complaints from the same person who claims they're anonymous, now, the brother who runs it, you know, He was a cool brother, but he told me, he said, they went to corporate, they called corporate, and they made them put me out. So now I have 30 days to get out of that storage unit, which has an accumulation of probably two years worth of art, paint, my computers, everything in there. I have to find another storage unit or find me a house finally to get into or go to the next level get to Atlanta and get me a place or get a manager or somebody who can help me get a a studio to put all my stuff in and then travel and do art and do everything but I'm doing all this by myself I'm just letting you know I'm doing all this by myself, a single father who probably hasn't seen his son in over 10 years, because I keep telling my son, as soon as I get stable, I'm gonna come get you, I'm gonna bring you out here, I'm gonna take you with me so then I can travel with you, I can take you all over the world, the places I've been, Australia, everywhere, I'm gonna really elevate you and make you the conscious little brother that you need to be, he's in Ohio with his mother, thank you, thankfully. I'm doing all this right here. I'm saying this for the people who've been asking. All of y'all have been asking, how can you help me? Help me set up a GoFundMe. Help me with my websites. Help me financially through my cash app. Help me find a place or offer me a place. It's got to be at least 10 by 40. Sarah is a Minneapolis-based manufacturer or and retailer. Of reach out to me. Work with me as a art rep, a manager, or something. And the Help me, a marketable brother, like the room dope brother, positive brother, talented brother. Help Our me get to the next level. But this is my story, and I'm sticking to it. And this is what I know. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Tony B. I love you. Peace. Namaste. Ashe. These lightweight frames.